It's time to fire up the Silverhawk and blow up some fish in Darius Gaiden. Released in arcades in 1994 and ported to the Sega Saturn in 1996, it's one of many fantastic shoot-em-ups available for the system. It's also one of the few to get a North American release. The story is pretty non-existent in this one. Just a brief little intro segment and a little bit more when you beat the game. That's okay, because the plot isn't really the reason you play a game like this. Gameplay is fairly straightforward. You fly to the right with the fire button held down, and try to destroy everything in your path while avoiding the many enemies and projectiles that fly towards you. If things get too chaotic and you don't think you can avoid getting hit, you can use one of your black hole bombs, which will destroy just about every enemy on the screen. It won't destroy bosses, but it will do significant damage to them. One really cool feature is the ability to capture mini-bosses. It only lasts for a short amount of time, but the added firepower certainly comes in handy. Some enemies will leave behind upgrades when they are defeated, and you will definitely want to collect all of them. The red ones will upgrade your air shot, green increases bomb power, Blue will give you a shield, Violet gives you another black hole bomb, Silver nets you bonus points, and the uncommon gold upgrade will destroy all the enemies on the screen. You will also find a 1-up hidden in the terrain every now and then. Another really neat feature is being able to choose a level after defeating a boss. There are only 7 levels per playthrough, but overall there are 28 unique stages to choose from which means that every playthrough of the game can be a different experience. Some stages are longer, with easier bosses at the end. On the other hand, some stages are very short, but have you face off against a massive boss. This game has some really nice 2D graphics. The enemies and bosses look great, and there isn't any slowdown, even with tons of enemies and bullets on the screen. Each stage looks great as well, and there is some nice variety to the backgrounds. The music was composed by Taito's house band Zuntada, who have also worked on Bubble Bobble and the Ray series, and this was another fantastic soundtrack from them. Sometimes it's laid back and trippy, other times it'll make you want to dance. All the tunes are enjoyable to listen to and fit well with the game. Darius Gaiden is a fun and challenging game that can be enjoyed by one or two players. Even though it's one of the few Saturn shooters to get a North American release, I would actually recommend getting the import version because it tends to be $10 to $20 cheaper. It's a fantastic shoot 'em up that every Saturn owner should play. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.